Uplifting is a huge problem across our state and here in South Mississippi. State lawmakers are cracking down and taking action on the growing problem. Lauren Martinez reports from D'Iberville where retail theft is at an all time high. House Bill 438 just passed in the state house to increase shoplifting fines. The new legislation would raise current penalty fees anywhere between $500 to $1,000. This could potentially cause a major shift for D'Iberville retailers as shoplifting is the city's number one offense. If we keep on these people and are able to keep going and that list gets hot, you know, they keep going back and forth in front of that judge, they're going to start having to pay those fines. And it, then maybe that will help, you know, deter or they think they're going to get in trouble and have to pay a hefty fine. It's like, is it worth it? $10 Boutique and more store manager tells me she has experienced theft in her store location. She says the bill is great news. It's hard for us. It makes our rates, our prices go up, it, you know, and it discourages other people from wanting to shop because if our prices go up, then they're like, well, why, you know, I don't want to shop there because their prices are going up, but then they don't realize the reasons. On the opposite side of the I-10, Antiques and More is also battling shoplifting problems with the most recent incident happening earlier this month. Um, one of the things that we've actually done is within the last eight months, we've installed a $6,000 camera system. Um, to help deter that, as well as we do encourage our vendors. Um, we do have 69 vendors here with their own ind individual spaces um, that if they wanted to install cameras that they were allowed to as well. Church says the Iberville Police Department's retail crime unit has been a major help. Through an app, retail shops in the area are able to share alerts on shoplifters' whereabouts with other local businesses and shop prevention officers with a click of a button. We have two officers. That's all they do is they take um, shoplifting, uh, anything that's dealing with retail, um, they take those cr uh, calls for service. They give us information, exchange of information, and so um, not only do they call us when there's something happening, but we know ahead of time they send pictures through that app. So um, it's a really good investigative tool that we use to exchange information. The state Senate still has to take up HB 438. Reporting in D'Iberville, Lauren Martinez, WLOX News Now.